Thanks, Phoenix. Come here, sweetie. Come here. I am the owner of Hotman Law Office, also known as the Cyclist Lawyer here in Golden, Colorado. Before Megan Hotman became the Cyclist Lawyer, she was a cyclist, a bike racer, still is. People I raced bikes with would come to me at bike events and say, I got hit by a car last weekend, can you help me? She said and yes every time. Ten years later, Cyclist Lawyer. So it came as a shock when Megan became the victim. And yeah, after representing hundreds of cyclists who have been on the receiving end of a car crash, this is the first time I've ever been hit. Hit by a careless driver back in May, the day the vulnerable road user bill was signed into law. It's now the law of Colorado. <laughs> A bill that is supposed to punish careless drivers who hurt cyclists by suspending their license. But 19-year-old Sierra Spaulding, who pled guilty Tuesday to careless driving in Megan's case, did not lose her license. I, I'm certainly frustrated because I feel like if I can't get this law charged in my own case, how am I going to do this for the cyclists that we represent? Spaulding's punishment, 50 hours of community service. I really felt like living and working here and being so involved in this community would count for something. Megan is disappointed, and, um, but now she's more fired up than ever. This year alone, seven cyclists have been hit and killed in and around the Denver metro area. And she's imploring the legal system to take the losses and injuries of herself and her fellow cyclists more seriously by holding drivers accountable. It matters. It really matters. And it's going to start to become something. Megan Hotman is also advocating for, uh, is going to continue to advocate for this despite this disappointment today. But she did want to also talk to drivers today and implore drivers to share the road a little bit better because obviously she was in a crash with mm -hmm. a driver. And it can be hard when you're in a rush to be paying attention, but it's equally as important for cyclists to do their part and drivers to contribute. It's, Share the road, as they say. I think it's tricky, though, to try to think that punishment would prevent drivers from being either careless or distracted or whether it's drinking or whatever it is that causes them to hit a cyclist, that the punishment may not be affecting any decisions they make before they actually hit someone. It, it seems like the idea is that if you feel a, a bigger fear that your punishment could be greater by driving carelessly, that you may decide to drive uh, more carefully. At least that's the idea. We're still getting used to this, right? With the bike lanes coming mm -hmm. in, we're still getting used to, to sharing the road. And the idea is that we just all be a little bit more aware that there are more vehicles on the road than just cars. Yeah. It's kind of sad that that's what it would take, but yeah. Yeah. that's what it made. And her injuries were? She suffered serious bodily injury. She um, had a tear in her knee and also had concussive symptoms. And she says she's still dealing with it. The glasses that you saw her wearing are a new addition thanks to her head injury. So it's something that she'll take with her yeah, first, for a long time. First word of the law, vulnerable. Uh, cyclists are very vulnerable exactly. out on the road, so they have to be careful. No rush is worth hurting someone like that. Certainly right. the girl in this case did not intend for that to happen and no. no one wants to be in that position. So look both ways, maybe twice, drive a little more carefully and it can hopefully avoid something like this happening again. All right. Thanks, Lori.